So now we'd like to add an icon to uh, each of our menu items here in X. So let's head over to the menu interface in appearance menus. And let's open this menu item. The graphic options here are for the navigation elements. These won't work in X. So for X, we need to manually insert HTML in here. So let's uh, write this uh, HTML first. And then we write the data X icon attribute and then we use the hexadecimal HTML entity which is ampersand a hashtag and X so let's copy that first paste that into our menu label and head over to font awesome so let's search for home that's for home label so we have a um, few options here let's just remove the filters for a moment so we use the home this is for, for pro and we have the light so we display the home version first so we open this up to grab the icons Unicode so just by clicking you copy it head over there again in the menu interface we insert the Unicode and the last thing we need to insert is a semi colon so let's save that and let's view this in the front end Maybe we'll open our icons page. And here we have uh, the icon displaying. So let's to space this out a bit, we can add a space between the icon and the first character of the label. So let's refresh the page. And now we see the space here. The one thing you need to note is uh, after you've saved, uh, this icon will turn into square. So let's uh, input the HTML entity again. And then let's copy maybe the regular home icon. Let's check this F015. That's the Unicode. And it's the same as this solid version. So, why is that? So you put here again, put the semicolon. So if you just want a new version, version, you ju just need to append the modifier here. So in the shortcode version, you prepend. In the HTML version, you need to append. So we put in O for regular and L for light so maybe we'll stick with light here save the menu set over to our front end and reload so now we're using the light menu here and for the last thing we need to uh, take into account if you if why area is important to you web accessibility we'll inspect the search icon 
and as you can see it has a area hidden true attribute and value so if you're concerned with web accessibility you just uh, put in or add in the attribute and value in here so save head over to our front end reload let's inspect and here we have our y area attribute in here so this setup overall uh, takes a bit of uh, coding so if you don't like this approach, I'd recommend you use uh, Pro.